in what is undoubtedly an unprecedented move, if not illegal move, and certainly appears to be a legal move, Congress has decided of their own volition that it is their right and their prerogative to release the tax returns of an American citizen. American citizen not currently in a court case where this information would be available to a court as part of a potential prosecution. A release of information without any legal justification whatsoever other than they want to claim the scalp of Donald Trump. This should trouble all folks. And all the leftists and the Democrats gleefully excited about the possibility of finally getting Trump or finally getting their hands on his tax releases ought to be very concerned. This is police state activity. This is what the Soviets did. This is what they did in the German Democratic Republic. Your tax information is privately identifiable information. It is your private information between you and the Internal Revenue Service, only available to a court should there be a court proceeding or if a judge issues a warrant to release that information to competent law enforcement authorities, not to the public. Now, ever since Trump ran for office, we've seen the red herring about Trump won't release his tax returns. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no legal requirement or expectation that any president release their tax returns. That is a fallacy. That is a lie. It's a tradition started decades ago for virtue signaling. You don't learn much about a person based on their income tax return. The reason the Democrats want it is because they claim that Donald Trump was actually broke, poor, not worth $10 billion. And we'll find out from his tax returns. Tax returns don't tell you someone's net worth. They only address a particular calendar year for personal income taxes. Case closed. The House committee has voted to make public Trump's tax returns. And the Washington Post gleefully dribbling down their leg runs this story today, heralding a criminal act. Now, the Post also says it's not possible to verify Democrats' allegations about Trump's taxes because returns have not yet been released to the public. They should not be released to the public. No one's tax returns should be released to the public. This is outrageous unless someone voluntarily does it. They're expected to release these in the coming days after sensitive information such as social security numbers are redacted. All information on a personal income tax return is sensitive. Hence the reason for security. Hence the federal crime for disclosing it. Hence the federal crime for reaching to a mailbox and taking someone's tax information. The Post itself does admit that the release of Trump's tax information is the most sweeping such action taken by Congress in half a century. A similar action involving a president has not occurred since 1973 when the IRS turned over Richard Nixon's tax returns to a committee, not to the public, to a committee. By the way, this is a red herring as well. In 1973, in order to prove he had done nothing untoward, Richard Nixon voluntarily offered his tax returns to a congressional committee. Donald Trump has not voluntarily offered his tax returns. This is an intrusion. This is a violation of federal law. And the Washington Post, buried deep in their story, admits the truth about presidents revealing their tax returns. Trump, who broke with a decades-long tradition of presidential candidates and presidents by refusing to make his tax returns public. Yes, a tradition. It's bogus. For his part, from the House Ways and Means Committee, Republican representative from Texas Kevin Brady said, Let me be clear. Our concern is not whether the president should have made his tax returns public, as is traditional, nor about the accuracy of his tax returns. Our concern is that if taken, this committee's action will set a terrible precedent that unleashes a dangerous new political weapon that reaches far beyond the former president. Well, that's exactly what this is all about. Lois Lerner and Barack Hussein Obama's IRS were a rogue organization that intentionally prevented not-for-profit organizations from getting not-for-profit status or revoking it because they were political opponents of the slimy, corrupt presidency of Barack Hussein Obama. Lois Lerner has never faced prosecution for the crimes she committed. She committed federal crimes. And that's what this is all about, to smear your opponents. This is perpetual theft of events that take place in November. In its investigation, the Ways and Means Committee homed in on a little-known provision in the Internal Revenue Service's internal rules. Internal rules. An internal rule of the IRS is not a federal statute. It's not U.S. code. It is not a law. This is an internal rule by the IRS that mandates that they audit tax returns for presidents since 1977. Now, the panel says that the program was effectively dormant under the Trump administration. And why not? It's not law. People just do what the hell they want. 
So the IRS since 1977 is just picking and choosing the things they want to do regarding presidential tax returns. Look, folks, there is a need for oversight of senior elected officials. I know my life is intruded into oppressively with a federal disclosure each and every year of every single bank account, brokerage account, mutual fund, savings account, any assets, any property I had. They stick their big noses in it every single year to make sure that I was honest for the handling of money. If I can be subject to that scrutiny, any federal official should be subject to that scrutiny, including the president. But the public has no right or privilege to know that information. That's private information. A competent court, after getting an order, can force that information to be made available to competent legal authorities, but not to a political hack job by a corrupt Congress. This is oppression. This is criminal activity, and this is the Democratic Party at work. This is what they do. It's what they've been doing for decades. When they're not bullying people into voting them or using unions to smash ankles and knees in Chicago and New York and places like that, they use the existing system to demonize and to destroy their political opponents. At some point, Americans, whether they like Trump or not, ought to be going, wait a second. If they can disclose Trump's tax returns to the public over a committee comprised of partisan, anti-Trump, Trump-hating political hacks in Congress, what can they do to me? Well, they can do quite a bit to you. And they've seen that. We've seen what they've done with Twitter. And we suspect what they've done with other platforms. We certainly know that they've abused and broken the Patriot Act repeatedly since the inauguration of Barack Hussein Obama in 2009. And it's funny because on Twitter, people are like, well, all this happened on Trump's watch. Trump is responsible. Really? Are you that naive or stupid? A federal bureaucracy of where 1 million federal workers who are accountable to virtually no one. These agencies don't even account to the secretaries responsible for them. The rogue actions within the Department of Justice, within the FBI, which is under the Department of Justice by Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Bruce Orr, James Comey, who ran it. These people committing crimes, violating the Constitution, getting away with it. Did it under Trump's administration to Trump. In the White House, in the Oval Office, James Comey lied to the president, telling him he wasn't subject to investigation. That's a federal crime. Trump has a right to know that. Anyway, well, folks, this is this is a new low, but don't be surprised. This is what the Democrats are capable of, new lows, each and every day. The Democrats intend, through a congressional committee, not a court order, not a judgment, not a conviction in a criminal trial, they intend to publicly release a private American citizen's tax returns for their political benefit. It's time you start looking at these people and judging them, however you feel about Trump and his trading cards. <laughs> What's that all about? All right, folks, take care.